Well, hello and welcome. Now, this is Nate. And I have for you, it's uh, Pinehurst here. So this one's been a tough one to film. There's Saturday, they got open house going and I've been trying to view just the outside of this home for the last 15 minutes and I forgot the model number. <laughs> but it is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, living room, family room. All your bedrooms are separated off from basically where the end of the window is that way along with the family room down there. This is 2,200 square foot. Of course, you got the tile shower, you got the separate tub. But one of the most unique features on this home is you got dual pantries. That's right, when you walk into your utility room there, you've got a great big pantry in the utility room, along with your standard corner pantry in the kitchen. And of course, you've got the natural wood on the outside with the white. Of course, colors, you can always change colors. But the way they've got this one set up, I got to go in through the back door, walk over to the front door to start showing you the rest of the home. But we got to be real quick on the back side here. We've got the black back door. We've got sliding glass doors. Of course, all your windows are done in black. And you see there's still people in there. <laughs> it's it's a popular one, I'm telling you. It's so popular that uh, y'all are going to want to rush over here to American Home Centers and buy this home. Now it's a bummer. I was driving by here about a month ago. And right where that open spot is, was a super nice triple wide that I've been wanting to come film and just never got a chance to come get it. I finally got over here today and they delivered it last week. So with that said, let's head on in. So now as we walk in, there is no coat closet per se, because you got this drop zone, but we have a mud room right when we walk in. And of course, then we've got the hardwood floors, but not true hardwood, but simulated hardwood with a bench to sit down on. It opens up, gives you a little storage space down there. Got some cubbies down below. And then we've got some shelving. So really nice mudroom slash closet as soon as you walk in. Of course, and then as I said, you've got the locker drop zone. And this one, instead of having some cubbies, of course you got your shoe storage, they actually have a drawer, which is something I haven't seen before. And then we come into the giant sized living room with this beautiful set of bay windows to look out of. Of course, not much of you here, just the freeway out there. I-90. <laughs> of course, all the Pinehurst homes have this vaulted ceiling with the fan there. Now, technically, your primary bedroom is off the living room. It is right over there, but you've got the recessed hallway. And I see it. Now, I have these closed. This home is so popular, I have closed these doors like four times now. <laughs> so now we can come back to the dining room. <laughs> so in our dining room, of course, we've got the 
chandelier up above these sliding glass doors don't mind it it's it's winter time here there's a lot of they're in a high wind area actually too so they get a lot of blowing dust so the windows get wet the dust blows they get dirty they gotta they gotta be cleaned all the time here <laughs> We've got a really nice dining room. And then we got to come into the kitchen area. Now I know you can get the single sink farmhouse. So we've got these stainless steel Frigidaire appliances. They went with a gas stove. You can get electric if that's what you want. Now there is no built-in microwave, so you're going to have to stick your microwave either on a counter or maybe option it in to go right here above your stove. So we've got under cabinet lighting. And you've got in your plug here, you've got the USB. And for drawers, we've got four there, one by the sink. We've got three more in the island. And I don't believe any of these are going to be the garbage pullout. Oh, but we do have some pullouts. And then one more drawer for you. As we step back, of course we have the corner pantry. I mentioned that on the outside. And I've been seeing some questions in the comments regarding who I think the best builder is for homes and stuff like that. When it comes to builders, as far as the best builder, it depends on the area that you're in because like kit homes here is a northwest company they don't do anything down south they don't do anything back east for the and for the pacific northwest i would say my personal opinion kit homes is one of the best brands that you can get for quality options things like that and customer service We have the sink in the utility room. Our back door, there's our utility box. And then we have a pocket door. Yep, so pocket door that goes into a whole nother pantry that is super large. And I see the light got turned off in here. I had it on, not that it makes much difference. Because there's really that much light coming in through that window right there. And this is one of the features that I like about kit homes. They generally always have that corner pantry and some other place to store your goods or your baking stuff like your crock pots and your air fryers and things like that. All right, so we need to go, let's go this way. <laughs> this home is so large and so all your bedrooms are going to be on the other side of these doors. This is going to be your family room or if some people were talking while I was waiting to film, they were saying this would probably be the room that they would put the TV on you've got the option for that wall you could center it on this wall or you could put it on this wall over here so you had a lot more options and then make that large living room your sitting area things like that have well that be where all your family gatherings are then you could close the doors off and keep all your sound in here from the TV
and into the first of three bedrooms, of the three guest bedrooms, I should say. No wire racks. Now here in the Northwest, it gets cold. I know a lot of you like the vents in the ceiling. Here the vents are going to be in the floor for the fact that heat rises. If we were having to cool, they would put the vents in the ceiling because cold air sinks. But here in the Northwest, it's more common to see the vents in the floor than it is in the ceiling. In the guest bathroom. We got the same backsplash as they had in the kitchen. Hello, Raiden. The single piece shower tub combo. That is a great big tub. Of course, now your ceilings at this end of the home are more like eight and a half foot, and you're about nine and a half to ten foot when you get to the peak of the ceiling over here. In the third bedroom, which I don't have a light on, that one, I don't know if the, they just didn't hook it up or what, but it didn't turn on when I went to flip the switch, so. So I guess all that's left is what's down at the other end of the home. So now as we come back out, we'll take one more quick look here and then we will uh, head into the primary bedroom. Now I'm not sure, did I show you guys? The, yes, I showed you the counter, corner pantry. I've been interrupted so many times I couldn't remember what I've shown and haven't shown in this home. <laughs> So let's uh, let's try to hurry up and get this uh, primary bedroom out of the way. So as we come into the primary bedroom, the closet is right off to the left. Now this does have your water heater access is in here. We've got a little bit more back in the corner there. And of course the panel is off. But over here, once again, no wire racks. And you can see you've got nice deep shelving for all your shelves. And then as we come in, we can take a look at the primary bedroom here. So you've got a great big wall for putting your dressers on. Another space in between those windows for your dressers. You know, that's a comment I see a lot of times is where are you supposed to put your dressers in the bedrooms because the way they have them designed. And then we've got this great big area over here. And I love this shiplap wall they got.
You got the ceiling fan. Now that is generally an option to have them in the bedrooms. It almost looks like a face. <laughs> no peeking into the bathroom over there. You know what I forgot to mention? Well, I'll show you as soon as we get into the shower. So we've got the double sinks. Same backsplash as the kitchen. Let's, let's not forget we have a tub, a nice big window above it. You've got the big shutters that or blinds that you can drop down and close it off. Still have light and enjoy yourself in the tub. And it uh, does not tip out, but you, obviously the window opens. Got another window that opens above your toilet there. And then we've got a linen cabinet. Now we have to check out the tile shower. So we've got the glass window in the towel rack. So we have a bench in the shower, that's right. And this glossy style, and we have this glossy marble styled tile in the shower. <laughs> well, I stumbled on that like four times trying to say it. <laughs> So, that's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> Your shower head is way up there. And then the brown glass inlay. So overall, the shower looks really, really good. And I have seen the river rock in the bottoms. So I know that that is an option that you can get with kit homes. But what's not an option is leaving them rocky comments down below. We want the smooth comments, you know. Let me know what you think of the home. What kind of options would you like to see in the home? What kind of upgrades would you like to see? Now, I didn't mention that this is a custom-built home. So, kit homes, you know, you can kind of customize them quite a bit, along with your standard options. And I'll be back with some price information here shortly. Thanks for watching. All right, just a real quick freehand outro. Just an add-on to before we get to the actual outro to this home. I just want to point out that this is a true custom home. So, it just goes to show that you can really customize these homes. Because the original home, the floor plan is only 1,800 and some square foot. This one is 2,240 square foot. And there's a lot of customization that's gone on into this home. The whole counters are different in the kitchen. The island is different. The extra pantry that they added on is completely custom. So I will have had the floor plan of the custom and the floor plan of the original up on the screen so you can see just the difference between the two and with that back to our regularly scheduled outro all right so now we got to get you some price information on this home we're gonna do it a little bit different I'm sitting in the living room of the home we just took a tour of my sunglasses left some marks on my on my forehead <laughs> all right anyway so this home is the Pinehurst 2505. And I know I forgot to give you that information at the beginning because like I said, this has been a tough one to film. I've literally been almost an hour from the time I walked in here till now trying to film this particular home. That's how popular it is. Okay, so with that said, this is 2,240 square foot. It is December of 2023. I am at American Home Centers here in Belgrade, Montana. 
And uh, I know you all want some price information. Now, as I said, this is a custom built home. This one starts as a base model at $235,000. Now there's a lot of customization that you can do with this home. They're showing that you can move floor plans around, you know, walls and things like that, make rooms different sizes. But this goes all the way up to $400,000, depending on how much customization you do in the home. They've got the one that we're sitting in, taking a look at right now, on sale for $315,000 as it sits, the one that we just walked through. So I hope they all hope that uh, gives you guys the information you're looking for. And uh, hope you all are down there hitting the like button, the, the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.